Today we're going to look at a heat kit VF1 VFO. It really looks in a really good condition if you look at the top and it's powered independently by a power supply which is uh, very unique. Uh, let me turn it on. It's very unique in that uh, you could use this VFO to power any vintage transmitter. Uh, normally with a Heathkit VF1 VFO you can only use it with a Heathkit AT1, I believe it works, and a Heathkit a uh, DX40 and a Heathkit DX60. And I believe those are the rigs that uh, it normally works with. But you have an independent uh, power supply. It does have a tube, uh, which is nice. And uh, so you have a little bit of vacuum tube uh, technology to go along with it. So I'm going to uh, put it in the on position. So we have got it uh, adjusted. It's at uh, approximately 7.07. .07. And if you look here, it's at 7.07. .07. And I will try it up. Uh, I'll try it up on down on 80 meters, and see how that works. See if we can find the right frequency. Okay, and there we are. Uh, that's it's reading about 37.50 there, maybe about 37.40, and here. It's uh, not too far off. It's about 37.40. Now we'll go up on uh, 20 meters. Uh, let's put this in that position. We'll go try. Let's find 20 meters. Okay. I'm just adjusting the uh, receiver. Uh, there we are on 20 meters, reading about 14.2 or a little lower than that. And uh, there we are. Uh, you have to know that uh, I am not. I'm just pick, picking it up on a receiver, so it's putting must be putting out plenty, because the only thing uh, I have for an antenna uh, that's it's not connected to anything. If you look here. Where's the end? The end has got to be here somewhere. There it is. So it's not connected to anything. So it's just picking up out of the air. And we'll go up on uh, uh, 15 meters. Okay, there we are on 15 meters. That's around a little over 21, right near the bottom of the band. And uh, there that is. And uh, I don't know if you get any output on uh, 10 meters, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, we'll try 28.4. Let's see if we have anything on 28.4. Yeah, and there it is. 28. There's 28.4. Okay. Okay, I have... Uh, programmed my KX3 for 27 megacycles and it even puts out on 11 meters and there we are